and we're live. I got a question. This might be better for the Ask Women subreddit, but I'll ask you guys anyway. It seems like if I think of like the ideal male physique, it's kind of those fitness competitors type guy or physique competition, sort of like yeah. the, the smallest level of bodybuilding to me is the most aesthetic. But like when peak Connor Murphy goes to the streets and asks girls, which one's the hottest, they pick a less impressive physique. So now my theory is that the reason they don't go for the hottest guy <laughs> is that they they can't be bothered to be the female equivalent. They're like, let's just lower our sights a little bit. And then maybe I can match this guy in terms of like desirability. This fitness model is too much of a pain in the ass to be the female equivalent. Do you think that's it? Or am I, am I, I totally don't know off if that's target? It because like every woman I've ever spoken to acquaintances, friends, family, like, like if that topic ever comes up and they see like one of those guys who's 5% body fat jacked to the gills and just roadmaps and is Derek You've overdone said, it. No, like, 5% okay, well, eight, jacked eight, eight to the gills. We're talking about like fitness Kyle. models, right? Like I think those girls on camera, a lot of them know this video is going on YouTube. So they're not going to answer necessarily what they actually think. They're going to have like the publicly acceptable answer above and beyond that. When they see a guy, if they see Kyle water depleted, fucking mm -hmm. photo shoot ready sliced out of his goddamn mind that's not the same as kyle like walking around in a shirt or at the beach even in natural lighting like this is like peak circumstances for like point. one moment with perfect lighting you just nared all the fucking hair off like everything is goddamn perfect that circumstance even the exact same guy literally a day later looks entirely different walking around in clothes and they see you know the vascularity when he's just in a t-shirt or whatever they're like oh that's mm -hmm. you know that's great that guy looks amazing. It, it's a totally different scenario to a chick seeing a guy literally doing like a, a chest fly and his striations are going all over the map. Uh -huh. They think that looks gross. But then when he's walking around in a shirt, you know, they're into it. You don't need to be 5% yeah. because then you look like you're malnourished and like dying. But if you're like 10%, which is mm -hmm. like shredded to most people's standards, that is great, you know? And if you're muscular, yeah, maybe you might have some chick on YouTube saying, oh, this is too much. It's like, it's like, come on, like what, what happens on fucking Tinder? who's getting the results it's like the dudes who look good you know like at the end of the day so yeah and, and i i would true. say like 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 my results with women it's like it's just the women who are like really into like as my pictures on tinder like maybe got more and more intensified like they were I pretty noticed, intense <laughs> they were pretty intense as everybody saw um you know it, it started to being more it was it would be a lot of chicks who were like uh, like doing fucking squats in the gym themselves, like mm. like like lots of chicks who are like super duper into fitness themselves, and because uh, like I, I don't know I, I, I and I and you know I I got no problem with that at all, but it stopped being a lot of skinny fat girls and uh, started being a lot more like super fit chicks who are into like sports or into lifting a lot. Like um, I showed I showed you guys that chick who was benching like shit. What was it like one? 140 or something like that like like something crazy she was bunch of bitching something crazy for a girl she was like she's a what? um just stunt work for a major movie uh um this company. is supporting my theory that the girls who are going for the fit guys are the ones who are willing to maintain the the parallel female equivalent Does that sort sense? of but i think also it depends how you present your package too like kyle's pictures are like blatantly posing Mm -hmm. in like perfect lighting that are like only a fitness model would do i can guarantee you if you like i don't know how much you actually go out but if you had pictures like with your buddies at the beach and you're the same body fat percentage you would get a more more diverse pool i would think that want to match with you than like the hyper specific fitness chick sure like it's widely appealing to everyone to be in shape yeah yeah. yeah, I think I so. guess I think Zach's there's not just, here. There's just different levels of uh, of, of in shape, and I, I think that's what you're what you're getting at, Woody. Like, like, yeah, I think, um, yeah, you're absolutely right. Uh, some of those pictures, I'm just looking completely ridiculous. I mean, they're literally like me water depleted, right? Like, like one of them. <laughs> there we one are. One of them is, is literally me just like completely water depleted. That's so like, absurd, man. He's this, like perfect. Huh? He's perfect, right? So this yeah, guy to good. me is like, I'm, I'm sorry, I cut Taylor off and I apologize for it, but he That's was good. describing 5% total jack, like IFBB pro. This guy is not 5% body fat. He's something north of that, maybe eight. Who coincides? This was me? like, this was like the first year men's physique was a, a category in the Mr. Olympia like uh -huh. competitions. And 
the standards were a bit lower back then, as ridiculous as that sounds, because this is like perfection in front of you. Put a number on it for me. What's that? Put a a, a body body fat fat number. number. Use your laser eyes, Greg. (laughs) Fuck, I don't know, like seven, eight percent, maybe. Like I don't know. But um, but yeah, like for this, like this is you don't need to be this lean, obviously. Like this guy could easily pack on ten to fifteen pounds and still have visible abs and look great. Mm -hmm. But when girls are like, ew. I'm I like, love oh, the, look at the he look looks at the great under underneath sexy gay sexy man. gay man <laughs> sexy <laughs> gay man <laughs> I didn't see that all right you know let's not click the sexy gay man tab click on it the screen. <laughs> <laughs> but, but yeah this, this to side. me I'm like the, the only reason chicks aren't going for this sometimes is that. I don't know. They don't want to be that hot too. It's a pain in the ass to be that hot. I think they, if they see a picture like this, they're like, oh, this guy is a douchebag. He's whatever. It's because mm. he's step, he's standing on a stage. Like, look at my fucking physique. I'm perfect. Right. A lot of girls get turned off by that. If he's just like with his friend smiling or at like, you know, some mm-hmm. normal event and has some sort of social interaction that looks attractive to everyone and isn't like blatantly try hard. I think he would attract the majority of people's interests who aren't intimidated by it, which, you know, maybe some people mm-hmm. are intimidated, but a lot of chicks who are under, you know, your league will still shoot for you on Tinder, even if they're never going to get it. That's, you know, it's like, what, what is it? Like 5% of guys get like 95% of the girls or some shit. Like that's definitely how it works. Yeah. Tinder is like, like a total argument against equality. Like the, oh, yeah. <laughs> it's like, the, yeah, it's something like that. It's like the top, like 15% of guys getting like 95% of the girls. And then there's like, like I think they did like a study where they had like men and women rate each other by body and looks. And what they found is like one through 10, the male one was like mostly kind of like bell, like kind of like that. Meanwhile, the women rated like the eights as like, oh, that's like the average one. And like six and below are absolute ghouls. Who yeah, I would never touch. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, what I can say for sure, too, just from my experience on Tinder with like experimenting with physique versus not physique pics and stuff like that is I, you know, tried to avoid using my main picture as me shirtless because I thought like, oh, this is a douchebag thing. Girls are going to get turned off by it. And maybe, you know, times have changed a bit since, you know, the inception of Tinder when you just like slam as many like perfect photos of your, you know, shredded physique as possible and just kill it. So I was like, okay, I'm going to put like a picture of me, you know, in a suit here, like with my friends and whatever. And, you know, you do good. But then I put this one picture of me at like, uh, I think it was like a Halloween party or something. And I had an excuse to be shirtless. I was in like a, like a genie costume with like, you know, a Sultan thing. I had like this vest on with nothing underneath and I'm having a good time. And it's just like a normal setting to be shirtless rather than me in the mirror. Like, fuck, look at my shit. (laughs) So like in that picture, you know, my results like tripled, even though the rest of my pictures are the same. So yeah. as long as you make it in a way that girls don't feel to themselves like, oh, I'm going for the douchebag or this guy is a douchebag, they can justify it to themselves to swipe right. And they're like, this guy seems cool. That's that's how I perceive it. They I mean, I'm entertained that Derek douchebag. applies the same like hypothesis observed results <laughs> process to Tinder that he does yeah. to like testosterone. <laughs> if you look at my <laughs> pussy getting calendar, you'll see, <laughs> you'll see I was absolutely slaying in April. <laughs> it's just it, it's like like xing off the days. It's all <laughs> every single one of them has an X on it. Yeah, that's that's really funny to to like make a Tinder and be like, yeah, I'm getting pussy. But why? <laughs> <laughs> well, Tinder's cool now because like Tinder has that thing where it'll show you which of your pictures are most effective. So mm. and it'll shift those pictures oh, toward really? the front. So like I did a lot of experimentation. Like like people gave me shit because of that one picture where I'm wearing the uh the blazer or whatever. Second most effective. Second most effective picture. That's the second most effective picture that, that got one. the most swipes. Um, and then the rest of the, uh, and I think the most effective picture was maybe like me wearing like the yellow and black. Um, and, uh, mm-hmm. and then it sort of went downhill from there. Um, but, but like it, it does that for you. I don't, I don't remember what that feature is called. It's like smart photo or something like that, but it, it slides whichever your best photos, the one that for girls, it? I pay is it for part the, of, I think it's part of it or something. I, I think oh, it's okay. just like part of Tinder, but like whatever you can pay for on Tinder, I pay for, um, You'd be it's fucking nice stupid and not like pay you. for it. Like, I can't believe any guy wouldn't, you know? You'd yeah, pay there's like, lots of girls who don't, but I don't, they don't need any to. guys. They don't need to. Yeah, it was only five to. bucks a month years ago when I was using it for, like, the, the premium or gold. Is it still that? Times have changed. Yeah, yeah times there's have like, changed a little bit. 
it's like gold and then platinum now or something, but it's like the amount of time you save too, it's like it more than pays for itself. It makes like no sense why you would not, you know, mm -hmm. upgrade in my opinion. Yeah, I, I just do the platinum thing because you're able to see when people like you and uh, and it, it's, you know, it's it, it's it's better. It's better that way. You want to be able to see if someone's liking you and you don't want to be limited on how many likes you get and all that shit. I don't want to be like, oh, you've ran out of swipes today. It's uh, that, That's bullshit. I mean, you can I'm, run so out. You, uh yeah. on bumble you can absolutely run out or maybe it's hinge i don't i don't know i've always had like the expensive version of tinder what's your experience with tinder versus bumble versus the other ones um i would rank i would put them in that order like like tinder uh bumble hinge uh mm. the uh hinge seems to be like a lot of like single moms and a lot of like older ladies who are looking for like their third relationship in life like i don't mean their third ever but like the third real relationship in life like yeah. they've already had one husband They've had their second husband they had some kids with, and now they're like like 45 years old and like like that the fuck how many times can you retread a tire? They're reach they, they've been retread <laughs> several fucking times. Um and uh and then um uh Bumble seems to be more like um ladies who are looking for a little bit more something stable and um and then uh and the t we all know what Tinder is, you know. Like, yeah. like Tinder's just oh everybody's seen them, Zach. Uh, Tinder. I don't know what Tinder, so Tinder is a hookup non relationship. For the most part, it's more like the Wild West over there. Like, there's a lot of like I've seen actual nudity in chicks profile pictures on Tinder. Like I've seen chicks profile pictures on Tinder where their tit is out. One of the fucked up things about Tinder now is a lot of girls use it to advertise their OnlyFans and stuff. So there's a lot of girls who are on there, you know, like not for the right reasons, and it's like. Back in the day, all you had to worry about was like fake like bots and shit, like fake hot girls that are not actual real accounts that are trying to like fish your information or like whatever it is. But now there's girls that are actually like go to my Instagram and follow me and like pretend they're interested or whatever. And they're trying to like promote services like it's not just like escorts or something. It's like actual like go watch my watch me get pounded on OnlyFans or some shit while yeah. like advertising on tinder like it's insane yeah i've had chicks um try to recruit me to uh pound them on their only fans oh. i've had plenty of that <laughs> like, like looking for a co-star yeah. <laughs> like, i don't think i can do that um yeah. maybe, maybe we have like a trial period where we see if it's going to work out first and, <laughs> and, then, and then i never talk to you again afterwards can we do that <laughs>